Hi everybody. I hope everything goes goes well. Uh, remember, in the lecture that I have recorded previously, uh, there is a sample question. The question contains several business transactions. See here, first business transaction, second business transaction, the third business transaction, and there are several more transactions up to 31st of January. And then this question, the question asks you to do, to do this. First, you are required to analyze the business transaction, record the transaction in the general journal, post journal entries to the ledger, and then prepare a trial balance. Okay, now, we do the first question, which is to analyze the business transaction. Okay, remember, <coughs> when the question asks you to do, to analyze the, the business transaction, it means that you have to show the effect of each transaction on the accounting equation. So, the accounting equation is asset equal to liability plus equity and then equity, equity is related to four account which is the capital withdrawal revenue and expenses okay remember Okay, now, now we, we do the first transaction. So the first trans transaction is on the 1st of January, you start a car wash business and then you invested 5,000 cash and 3,500 in equipment into the business. So what? is the effect of this transaction on the accounting equation. See the cash first. We do the cash first. Okay, the date is 1st of January. So, you invested 5,000 cash into the business. So, what will happen to the asset? The first thing that will happen is your asset will increase. Your asset will increase. The name of the asset is the, the cash. The amount is five and five thousand. And then is there any effect on liability when you invested the cash into the business? No. And then what is the effect of the uh, transaction on the equity? So for this transaction, the effect is there will be an increase in the equity. The account is the account capital. The amount is 5,000. Okay. And then there is a second thing. The second thing is you also put 3,500 equipment into the business. So what will happen to your asset when you put 3,500 equipment into the business. So the thing that will happen to the asset of the business is that the asset of the business will increase 3,500. The name of the asset that has been increased is the equipment. Asset equipment increase the amount is 3,500. 
there is no effect on debt or liability. No effect on debt or liability. And then the capital, the equity increase because you, the owner, put the equipment into the business. So the equity will increase. The account is account capital the amount increase is 3500 okay okay now let's see what is the second transaction the second transaction is on the 2nd of january the business purchase equipment 2300 2300 in cash and paid the space rental 500 okay let's see first the business purchase 2300 equipment in cash so what will happen to the asset first so the date is 2nd of january the thing that happened to the asset is the asset increase the asset increase the name of the asset is equipment. The business purchase equipment. The amount of the equipment that has increased is 2300. At the same time, when the business purchase the equipment, the business has to pay cash. So the second effect on the accounting equation is there is there is an de a decrease in asset. The asset is account cash. The amount is two thousand three hundred. So for this transaction, there is no effect on the debts or liability, and also there is no effect on the equity. Okay, and then there is a second thing that happened in the 2nd of January. The second thing that happened is the business paid the space rental 500. So what will happen to the accounting equation when the business paid rental 500? So the, the thing that will happen is when the business paid the rental First is when the business pay the rental, asset cash decrease. So there is a decrease in asset. The name of the asset is cash. The amount paid is 500. And then remember, in accounting, rental is an expense. So the ex the uh, and expense is here related to the equity so there is no effect on the liability but there is a decrease in equity the name of the account is rent expense the amount is 500 okay so for every transaction there are at least two effects Okay, now let's see what happened on the third transaction or transaction on the 3rd of January. So on the 3rd of January, your business purchased supplies in credit 350. So what is the effect of that on the accounting question? So remember about this. In accounting, supplies is an asset. So when your business purchase supplies, it means that an asset goes into the business. So the thing that will happen or the effect of that transaction on the accounting equation is like this. The date is 3rd of January. So supplies goes in. So asset supplies increase. Asset supplies increase. The amount related to the supplies is 350 
and at the same time your business purchase this supplies on credit so credit means your business owe money to the supplier so this is a debt or a liability so the thing that happen here is your liability will increase the liability increase the account related to this liability is called account payable and then the amount related to this is 350 and there is no effect on the equity okay okay and at the same time on the 3rd of uh, January there's a second thing that happened your business hired a worker so is what is the effect of that on the accounting question so when your business hired a worker that is nothing or no effect on the accounting transaction because your business only hired a worker your business does not pay the worker yet okay the next transaction is on the 3rd of january uh, on the 10th of january on the 10th of january total revenue from providing services after seven days of operation is 750 cash so what is the effect of that that is a transaction what is the effect of that transaction on the accounting equation so let's see so the accounting equation is related to asset liability and equity so on the 10th of on the 10th of uh, january your business got 750 dollar cash or ringgit cash from from providing services so the first effect of this transaction is your asset cash increase your asset cash increase the amount is 750 so when uh, the second thing that happened is there is no effect on liability and the effect on equity is the equity increase the account related to the equity is account revenue Your business got revenue from providing services. The amount of the revenue is seven fifty. See, these are the effects. Sec first of January, second of January, third of January, and the tenth of January. So you have to do this. For the rest of the transaction so i will show you the answer okay this is on the 17th of january the effect is increase in cash asset cash 900 and increase in equi equity the account is revenue 900 on the 29th of january the first thing that happened is 17 and 24 24 of January the first thing that happened is asset cash increase it's 70 and then revenue increase it's 70 the second thing on that day is asset account re receivable increase 70 and equity revenue increase 70 on the 28th of January, asset cash decrease 275 and equity decrease related to account utility expense. The value or the amount is 275. On the 29th of January, the transaction is the business paid supplier 200. So the effect is asset cash decrease to 100, liability account payable also decrease to 100. On the 30th of January, customer who have give, 
been given credit paid 50 so when the customer pay 50 the business asset increased by 50 asset cash increased by 50 at the same time account receivable asset account receivable decreased by 50 31st of January the business got revenue from the fourth week of operation 700 so asset cash increased 700 revenue it related to equity also increased 700 and the owner of the business took 600 for his own use so when the owner takes 600 from the business the asset of the business asset cash decreased 600 at the same time the equity also decreased 600 related to account drawing okay thank you very much think about this you have the answer and then you can do this question again and you can communicate with me if you have question okay bye bye